Our objective in this lesson is to find the product of the sum and difference of two binomials. Take a look at these pairs of binomials. x plus 4, x minus 4, y minus 12, y plus 12, p plus 9, p minus 9, q plus 7, q minus 7. What do you notice? The pairs of binomials have the same variable and constants but of different operations. Plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, minus, plus. Let's have a quick review on how to get the product of two binomials. I will use a smile method here. Let's start. x times x is x squared. Positive 4 times negative 4 is negative 16. Positive 4 times positive x is positive 4x. And positive x times negative 4 is negative 4x. Positive 4x and negative 4x will simply cancel out. So our final answer is x squared minus 16. Now let us analyze. Quantity x plus 4 times x minus 4 is equal to x squared minus 16. Where do you think x squared come from? It is actually the square of the first term. It doesn't matter which binomial you are going to choose because the first terms are the same. How about the 16 here? It is the square of the second term. So we have here 4, we also have here 4. So the square of 4 is 16. This leads us to sum and difference of two binomials. So if you have quantity x minus y times x plus y, all you have to do is to square the first term. The square of x is x squared. And then this is always a negative. And then is square the second term. The square of y is y squared. So we have x squared minus y squared. Very easy, right? Let's have another one. Quantity 2p minus q times 2p plus q. So again, let us square the first term. The square of 2 is 4. The square of p is p squared. So we have 4p squared. And then this is always negative. And square the second term. The square of q is q squared. Another one. Let us square the first term. The square of m is m squared. Always negative. And then the square of 4 is 16. The square of n is n squared. So we have 16 n squared. Another one. Let's square the first term. The square of 3 is 9. The square of b is b squared. So we have 9 b squared. Always negative. You square the second term, the square of 7 is 49, the square of d is d squared. So we have 49 d squared. Let's dig deeper. Here are the examples that we discussed earlier. How many terms are there in the product? So this is the product, this one, this one, and also this one. There are 1, 2, 2 terms. And what do you call a polynomial with 2 terms? We call it a binomial. Describe the product of the sum and difference of two binomials. The product of sum and difference of two binomials is the difference of the squares of the terms of the binomials. How do you decide on the sign of the second term of the product? So here is the second term. How do we decide on this sign? This is always negative. Let us do extra challenge. Determine the product of the following sum and difference of two binomials. Number one. So our first term here is 2p squared. So we have 2p squared is squared. And then always negative. Our second term is 7q squared. So 7q squared is squared. 2 is squared is 4 p is squared squared. We just have to multiply the exponent. 2 times 2 is 4. So we have p to the fourth. Copy minus 7 squared is 49. q squared squared. 2 times 2 again is 4. So we have q to the fourth. Number 2. 
Our first term is 11m cubed. So we have 11m cubed is squared. Then always negative. Our second term is 20n to the fourth. So 20n to the fourth is squared. 11 squared is 121. M cubed squared, 3 times 2 is 6, so M to the 6. Copy minus 20 is squared is 400. N to the 4th is squared, 4 times 2 is 8, so we have N to the 8. Number 3, our first term here is a binomial, so let us square the binomial A plus 2B. And then minus, our second term is 3C, so quantity 3C is squared. This is a square of a binomial. So from my previous video lesson, we square the first term, we copy the sign, and then we multiply A and 2B, that would be 2AB, then times 2 is 4AB. Then always positive, the third term, and then 2B squared is 4B squared. And then copy minus. 3 is squared is 9, and c squared is c squared. Quick tips for the sum and difference of two binomials. It produces two terms in the product. The first one is the square of the first term of the binomial, and the second one is the square of the second term of the binomial. The sign of the second term of the product is always negative, and both first and second terms are always negative perfect squares. Now it is time to check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. Let us answer number 1. So let us square P, that is P squared, and then always negative. Square of Q is Q squared. Number 2, the square of A is A squared minus the square of 10 is 100. Number 3, the square of 9 is 81. The square of B is B squared, so 81B squared. Always negative. The square of 5 is 25. Number 4, the square of 6 is 36. The square of P is P squared, so 36P squared. Always negative. The square of 7 is 49. The square of Q is Q squared, so 49Q squared. Number 5, the square of 4 is 16. B cubed is squared is B to the 6. So we have 16 B to the 6. Minus 5 is squared is 25. D cubed is squared is D to the 6. So we have 25 D to the 6. Gets? Our next topic is cube of a binomial.